The following contest is a three-on-one handicap match. Introducing first, weighing in at 206 pounds, the Superstar. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. And his opponents, first, from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 170 pounds, Aaron Matthews. This right here is a no-nonsense superstar. More like a no-respect superstar. They should thank the higher-ups once in a while. Don't you call yourself the savior of misbehavior? This isn't about me. That's neither here nor there, Cole. A very high pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. And their opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 222 pounds, Brandon Collins! Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, and what else is new? He says it's all about dominance tonight and plans on showing why everyone backstage should be scared. Here he comes. And their partner from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 210 pounds. I've lost count of how many times this superstar straight up left a tag partner hanging or taking a count out loss when out matched. They might do it before the match even starts here tonight. Well, if I saw your face at ringside each week, I'd consider turning around too. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one.
This is a situation that can be bad news for the superstar in a handicap position. The risk of injury becomes heightened because there's always an opponent capable of being on your back. There's no respite for the body as it endures relentless punishment. And for some, it is used as an opportunity to toss the rule book out the window because one side is outnumbered. My, oh my, what elevation! Great reversal. This is what you call high risk, high reward. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Enable to counter. A counter answered by another counter. Is there any special kind of secret to winning a handicap match? Well, it depends on what side of the handicap you're on. But overall, I'd say it's important not to get too overconfident. These things always look easier to win than they are. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. And proving a bit slippery for them there. And tag. He's in now. Finally. He saw that one coming. Aggressive work on that shoulder. Elbow drop. Piercing. Ooh. He's been placed in the corner now. Then another. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Perched up top. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Uh-oh. Tag made. Fresh man in. Ooh! Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Into a power bomb. Springboard moonsault. Wow. Oh, stomping away. He's returning fire. Countered it just in time. Oh, knees right to the gut. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Pinpointing the leg in a corner. Coming in hot. Looking to take flight here. Uh-oh. Way too... Oh. Look out below! It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. And he very quickly counters. Boom! He's lost some of his win now. Four. Evading offense. He's turning the tables. Six. Both wrists captured and oh. The ref still counting, might be a count out. the tables. Eight. Time to go home. Boom, big time driver. Oh man, right across the chest. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's looking a little weary now. Not sure if I'd panic, but certainly some cause for concern here. He takes control. The springboard attack fails to land. Arm pull. Oh, caught him. Elbow drop. He's just getting thrown around out here. In this situation, he has to get resourceful. Counter! And now there's an opening. He reverses it. 
There's a tag. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. Salida del Sol. And into the count. And he kicks out at two. He thought he had it. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Uh-oh. Way too oh. Catches nothing but air. done with the head scissors. Look at this. Snap suplex. Into the turnbuckle. them down. A ridiculous standing shooting star. He's absorbed some damage already. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Off the top. On oh, a diving arm drag. Unbelievable athleticism. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. And he continues to mount on the pressure. He's mixing precision and physicality with his attacks here. That shoulder targeted there. It's that time. A pin drop! To the neck and the oh. gun. Oh, man, what a combination. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Tag made here, opponent in the corner. Perfectly executed, double Northern Lights suplex. He's tagging out. Blasted by a forearm. The end is in view. Makes the cover. Amazing. I don't know how he did it, but he's hanging in there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? Just dished out his most devastating offense, and you got to be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. What a battle we are witnessing. We're at a stage where someone's going to have to shift it into another gear. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Ooh. Big kick. This is just brute power. German. Just pure dominance. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, oh that hurt. What a counter. Crash landing. point in a handicap match, you have to expect some lasting damage. Considering the situation, things could be far worse. He manages to escape it. Just defenseless as the momentum is against him. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back is being negated. Oh, right to the back. Six. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Great leg strength. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Eight. Tag is made. Nine. 
This handicap matchup's in the books. Here are your winners. A count out win is still a win. I hate a count out. I feel cheated, and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated.